Should you be shopping for clothes from the most popular brands in men's fashion? Well, I definitely do. And there's a reason for that. I think if a brand is very popular, it means their pieces are probably good. So if you're the kind of person that doesn't like to shop where everybody else shops, you should probably find some other place. But if you're like me and you don't mind, this video is definitely going to be for you. Because today, I'm going to be going over the five most popular brands in men's fashion that you should at least be checking out. All right, the first one on the list is going to be Abercrombie & Fitch. Now, this is such a huge trend right now. I hear it all over TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Everybody's talking about the store. So I decided to try it out myself and I absolutely fell in love with the pieces. And that's because they're very on trend with the clothes that they sell. Some of the most popular trends in men's fashion, chances are you'll find them at Abercrombie & Fitch. At least their version of it. So those oversized hoodies, those sweatshirts, graphic tees, things like that, you could all find at Abercrombie and Fitch. But I also have plenty of other things from them that I'll definitely get into in a little bit. But like I said, I barely started shopping at them recently. For me, it was a new place that I decided to check out just because I wanted to see what the hype was about and come to find out it was definitely worth the hype. So let's go over some of my favorite pieces that I picked up from Abercrombie and Fitch. So the first one I absolutely have to talk about is gonna be this quarter zip. As you know, I love quarter zips. So this one from Abercrombie and Fitch, one of my most high quality ones. Super soft very comfortable the next one is going to be this graphic tee it says calabasas tennis club it's kind of preppy which i kind of like and i love this color now for the best piece that i have from abercrombie fitch the one that i always get questions and comments about and that is going to be this trucker suede jacket now because it's suede because it's brown it stands out a lot honestly if you look at this jacket you would think that it's probably like 300 but i ended up buying it for about 120 which can be a little bit pricey but gotta keep in mind something like a suede jacket you can't really find it that cheap and especially if it's something that nice definitely have to invest a little bit more money from and this jacket alone makes abercrombie one of my favorite stores the next one on the list is going to be uniqlo now although i don't shop at uniqlo as much as i should it's definitely one of the best brands out there in men's fashion now uniqlo definitely has the best bang for your buck meaning most of their pieces are not too expensive but the quality definitely on par with the price and they have such a big reputation for this and i feel like it's for a good reason so everybody acknowledges uniqlo as one of the best places to start off with or even if you're a men's fashion connoisseur it's probably not the right word for it but if you're heavy into men's fashion chances are you'll still be shopping at uniqlo a good example would be someone like tim desaint clearly knows what he's doing in men's fashion and he shops at uniqlo quite often so yes although i personally need to shop there a lot more and i definitely will be this year go over some of the pieces that i do own from uniqlo. so unfortunately all i could find was this flannel that i had for some time now it's holding up very nicely which kind of proves the quality of uniqlo i know i have more pieces i just couldn't find it so let's go over some things from my wish list from uniqlo now i feel like they're really known for the jackets so i definitely want to pick up something like a parka especially if i'm going to be traveling to a place that gets very very cold i feel like i need a jacket like this now scrolling down i already know their shirts are good based off the flannel that i had so one shirt that i really want to experiment with this oversized long sleeve shirt i feel like it's something new to my style but maybe it's something that i'd like to experiment with all right the next store on the list is going to be ralph lauren now ralph lauren is probably always going to be such an iconic brand for men's fashion if you're into that old money aesthetic which is very very popular right now definitely recommend checking out ralph lauren i personally love this aesthetic definitely going to be trying to pull this off as the season starts to get warmer but i've always liked the way it looks and i've always liked ralph lauren now granted it is a little bit pricey but yes if you're on a budget probably not going to be your favorite place but it should definitely be a place that you're at least checking out if you are on a budget like i always recommend always sort low to high when you're on their website or if you're in this store I personally always go straight to the clearance section. Sometimes I forget how expensive Ralph Lauren is. This shirt looks amazing. So I'll definitely buy this pretty soon, but I am going to wait for this to be on sale. But yeah, Ralph Lauren, definitely one of my favorite brands. I own a lot of pieces from them. So let's go over some of them. All right, so from Ralph Lauren, I love their button downs. I think they just fit amazing. So I have this one in navy. It's a bit thicker, but I also have one in white. It's a lot more thinner. So this one I usually wear when it's warmer outside. This one's probably one of my softest shirts I have. I also have a sweatshirt. I love this color. It's a forest green color. One of my favorite sweatshirts I have. Next, I have quite a few of these bear tees, these graphic tees that are signature from Ralph Lauren. I'm only going to show my green one and blue one before I bore you guys, but my most recent pickup are going to be these corduroy pants from Ralph Lauren. Love these. They're very unique. I've been wearing these a lot. Now, I didn't want to just talk about the most popular brands in clothing because like I mentioned in this channel, it's always important to be doing well in other aspects of your lifestyle aside from clothing because yes, obviously clothing is very important. Things like your hairstyle is very important and that's where today's video sponsor comes in. Bloom on. I still stand by the fact that the easiest ways to look better is by starting to do your hair. So let's talk about the way I do my hair. And of course, it's gonna be from today's video sponsor, Bloom on. Now I literally always use Bloom on for my hair products, and that's because it's just the easiest choice. It's affordable, they use the best ingredients, and they have a good reputation behind them. So let's do my hair using the products from Bloom on. So first things first, we gotta wet our hair with a spritzer bottle and just get it nice and damp. Before using anything, I use Bloom on Cloud Control, just does a really good job of nourishing my hair. As a pre-settler, I love to use Original by Bloom on. It also works as a heat protectant, so 
in case you want it to blow dry original has you covered that way it doesn't damage your hair the next thing i use is the hybrid clay now the reason why this one's so small is because it's from the discovery kit so in case you want to try out a bunch of different products the discovery kit's a great option and after applying it to my hair you're pretty much set and done and that's literally it if you notice it's very simple to do my hair i don't use a lot of products I don't overdo it that way my hair is still natural but it has that extra texture from the products. Not only does my hair look significantly better with these products, it also feels a lot better. And that's because the ingredients that Bloom On uses do a really good job of nourishing your hair. So it's a lot softer, it's silkier, which is exactly where your hair should be. Like I said, it's just the best option for hair products. I've been using them for so long now, and I will continue to do so throughout this entire year. Like I said, they are pretty affordable, but they're even more affordable using code Aaron. It'll get you 10% off. You use the first link in the description. So that way you can start looking better and start taking care of your hair at the same time. But aside from just hair, other things are very important as well. Besides clothing, of course. That's why in this video, we're going to be talking about other things as well. We're going to be talking about shoes. So one of the most popular brands for shoes has to go to New Balance, especially this year. I don't see this New Balance trend dying off anytime soon. Somebody asked me the other day if they think that New Balance 550s are still going to be a thing this year, especially now that they're easier to get. You'll find them for retail pretty much anywhere. Unfortunately for me, I did not get them retail. I bought them kind of early on in the hype, so I wasn't able to get them for retail. I bought it for resale, but luckily it wasn't too bad. If you ever wanted to check out New Balance 550s, but didn't want to pay the resale price, they're much easier to find. Of course, just like the other ones, let's talk about some of the New Balances that I own. So my first ones are going to be my 574s. I love these. They're very comfortable. I also have a pair of 327s. Gotta say, these are very versatile, so I wear these quite often. And then the infamous 550s. They completely replaced my Air Force Ones, so if that doesn't sell you, you're probably just never going to wear New Balances. All right, another popular place in men's fashion. Let's talk about where to get the best jewelry. Honestly, I have several places, but if you're starting out with jewelry, I wanted to tell you the place that I personally got my first necklace from. That is going to be Serge Nimes. Like I said, I had to throw it on the list just because this was the first place that I picked up jewelry, so I'm going to be recommending it to you if you're starting out with jewelry as well. So I do have a few places from Serge Nimes. I mostly picked them up for silver. I have two necklaces and then a bracelet. Gotta say, for the price, they're really solid pieces and they're just a perfect place to start off with. Minimal, simple, affordable, clean. What else can you ask for when it comes to jewelry? So scrolling through the website, there are plenty of pieces that you could check out for yourself. Of course, there's plenty of other places to check out for jewelry. I also like Craft of London, Cernucci. Those are always going to be my top three that I recommend just because they're affordable, they look good, and it's some very high quality jewelry. I try to throw in something for everybody. So hopefully this covered everything that you had questions about. If you're ever thinking about shopping at the best brands, for literally anything for clothing, shoes, jewelry, anything like that hairstyle thank you to bloom on if you're wondering where i came up with this list i found the best lists that i agree with on places like tiktok instagram reels even youtube shorts these are places that i hear a lot of buzz about so that's why i call them the best brands in men's fashion as of right now of course it always changes and for some people that have completely different styles they're going to consider other places they're the best brands so it's all subjective but nonetheless i hope it did help you out other than that I'll see you in the next video later